evening. Welcome to the Love Sessions. A new global music platform for new and established talent. Good evening, folks. How are you doing? Wave to us. We know there's a few of you out there so far. Who's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube Live? Start commenting now. We're going to be reading some of your comments out later on. Okay. My name is Tam Johnston, and over here we have... Malcolm Joseph. Excellent. How are you doing, Mal? I'm doing all right, mate. How's it hanging? Yeah, pretty good. Been yeah. all right? It's been uh, an interesting few days. I can't tell you the amount of work that we've put into this, and the crew behind it is actually a very small crew doing the work of probably 100 people. Actually, maybe more like 1,000 people. Yeah. That's probably right, isn't it? And it, each time round, it's all been governed by our social distance guidelines. Absolutely. There we go. Oh, now, the reason why <laughs> this has been set up, and this is the brainchild of uh, NUB, is because, obviously, due to the conditions, people have had to stop working, they've lost work. NUB would normally be doing festivals at this point, and what, what sorts of other gigs, Malk? Uh, well, like little tiny, smallish gigs, as far as Small like gigs, big gigs, big gigs, it's all gone tours, away for people like everything's NUB. Everything's gone. Yeah, and other Pub PA gigs. companies out there as well. Yeah. Obviously, bands, artists, artists. We, we all know that you're suffering at the moment. So this is a new venture to, to basically try and entertain you and obviously put some people back into doing something during this time where it's all a bit loose and, and uncertain. So it's all smiles tonight. So I hope you really enjoy the show. Yeah, it's going to be a four-part pilot. This is just a test run, so bear with us. Obviously, we're live right now. There's going to be a possibly a few hiccups along the way. I'm sure there will be. Just yeah. bear with us, though. But please, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Make comments. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and any other social media you can possibly get your hands on. It's got enough sessions on. Absolutely. Now, we've also got to talk about this very unique situation we've got uh, for the bands, because you are a member of the Bubble Band. I am indeed. The Bubble Band, great band. It features myself playing bass, We've got Steve Jackson on drums and Mr. Joe Partridge on guitar. And the Bubble Band are playing with Winter Mountain, who oh, are well, just guests. kind of special guests, yeah. Absolutely. So it's very interesting. We're going to show more of this throughout the program, uh, or throughout the series, rather. In another building, a completely different building, we've got the band playing. And then they're linked to this building with Joe playing from Winter Mountain. So it really is a very unique set up and I think uh, I think you're going to be very surprised when you see that. Excellent. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm waffling now, so we're going to get right to the heart of it. We're at Airfield Studios. We'll be talking more about that later on. Very interesting history there. But we've got to remind you to subscribe on all the platforms, especially YouTube. Lots of comments there. And, uh, well, I think that's it. We should that's probably it. get on. I think you should move on, really, mate. All, all right. Crack so, on. without further ado, we're going to go for the first song from Winter Mountain, and it's called Sunlight, Good Roads.
they are born I could write you a song and dream you a dream about these young eyes and all they've seen Fantastic track by Winter Mountain. Earlier on this week, uh, Tam had popped in at CJ to get a full history about Airfield and the studios. What's the story about the Airfield coming to the family? My family acquired it in 1967 when it went up for auction and uh, my father, being a neighbouring farmer, wanted some more land. Nobody was bidding, so he got it at a very, very low price. That's bizarre. Mm. There was a story behind it, I think, and that is, after he bought it, the council came to him and said, well, this is all going to be raised to the ground. And my father said, OK, when are you going to start? And that went on for three or four years, four or five years. They never did anything. So the buildings are still standing That's all these years later. That is remarkable. Amazing, yeah. I took over some of the buildings uh, and turned into a recording studio and a rehearsal studio and some offices. And here we are at the moment in the old decontamination building, which is next to the hospital, which is next to the chapel, which is next to the morgue. So it's a whole little city here. We, we got this place up and running in the early 90s. Did it take long to, to put together? Took, yeah, it took, um, took about three or four years actually with all the paperwork and everything else. And as far as the nub sessions are concerned, how did that uh, relationship sort of happen between you and the nub? people? Well, um, Rob Simpson from NUB came to Airfield Studios when he was 15 as a work experience and um, when he decided to start a sound company I said don't do it but he did and has made it a great success out of it and the wonderful thing uh, at this time when everything is locked down and all musicians are struggling to play and be heard and feel as if they've had their tongues cut out uh, from this virus. Um, together with Nub, this idea of trying to get some musicians to play to, to people and keep safe, keep distanced and all the rest of it, that's just an idea that we've been talking about for a while and so this is the first one. It's absolutely amazing what, uh, what's been done here. 
in a short space of time, I have to say. It's kind of like uh, transformed into into a TV studio almost. So Very quickly as well. Very quickly, yeah. It's almost like the spirit of when the airfield was... Oh, built. there's def definitely the Dunkirk spirit has come to the fore. <laughs> And to be honest with you, being here on this really historical site, you know, it does, I don't know how much it does for other people, but I know that when people arrive, they sort of you know, look around, can't believe the place. Hi, hello, Winter Mountain. Hi, right, Joe. <laughs> How's it hanging, mate? Hanging up, it's not too bad, thank you, my brother. Yeah, yeah. good man. <laughs> how's life? Yeah, not bad. How you? How's the? Uh, how you doing with the old lockdown situation at the moment? Not too bad, actually. I've I've just thrown myself into a lot of creativity, and you know what us artists are like. We're, yeah. We we complain a lot, but we're pretty resilient, and we get the job done. So yeah, I'm. I'm Oh, okay, good. thank you. So we've got some more tunes coming back, right? Yeah, uh, thanks so much for having me, by the way, and thanks Pleasure. so much for playing with me on that last one. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyable, It was mate. great, wasn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to play you uh, a song that I wrote for my first record called I'm Stronger When You Hold Me. Fantastic, mate. Malcolm. Nice one. Crack on. You bet. Cheers. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Well, there's something about you, Angel The way you move like smoke across the floor And I'll confess there is no memory in my head That I have ever wanted more Oh, it's like I'm counting stars That I don't deserve to see and there's one thing that I know for sure I'm stronger when you hold me Life is what it should be when I am in your arms Stronger when you hold me Life is what it should be when I am in your arms dream about the imperfections I discover on your skin And how I am the lucky one for sure Cause when I knocked upon your door you took me in Oh yes you did And how our weird little worlds collide with such a din that it shook me the very core, mom. I'm stronger when you hold me. Life is what it should be when I am in your arms. Stronger when you hold me. Life is what it should be when I am in your arms. There's something about you, angel You float like a butterfly towards a flame Oh, and to try and find the words to paint your beauty It would surely be in vain Oh, yes, it would Am I losing my touch? Give it all or give it up it's what you told me, and I'm taking it to heart. I'm stronger when you hold me. Life is what it should be when I am in your arms. Stronger when you hold me. Life is what it should be when I am in your arms. I am stronger when you when you 
hold me I'm stronger when you hold me Oh, life is what it should be When I am in your arms That was brilliant, Winter Mountain. Well, no further ado. Tam was out earlier this week. Uh, oh, sorry. I've got it wrong. That's my first fluff. <laughs> right, let's go back and start again. Right, Tam was out earlier this week to speak to Joe. I mean, Rob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll get one of these names right. I'm sorry, this is live and we're kind of, as you can see, we're up fresh and running. Yeah, earlier on, we kind of, Tam kind of took up and met up with Rob today, Mr. Rob Simpson, the brain of Nub Sessions. Okay. Well, right. well, well, look who we have here. We have Mr. Rob Simpson from the Nub Sessions. Hello. How you doing, Rob? I'm good. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to drag you out of the sound box for a little chat. It's fine. But I had to ask you, where did the idea for the Nub Sessions begin, this wonderful entity that you've created? I think we've traced it back to a flight either to or from Miami about 12 months ago, pre-COVID pre and kind of, yeah, initial discussions with, with uh, one of our colleagues, Ryan, after the kind of coronavirus shutdown and the fact that we haven't been able to, you know, get out and gig, do shows um, of any kind yeah. for nigh on a year, we decided enough was enough and we'd try and build something for ourselves and, you know, draw, draw on the, the talents around us. It's amazing. I mean, as, as I said earlier, walking into the the sound, what, what would we call it? The sound area? Noise world. Noise world. Noise world. <laughs> yeah. Rob's noise world. Yeah. It's exceeded all expectations, I think, for everyone involved so far. So, you know, um, we're at the seat of our pants stuff, but hey, we're, we're loving it. So keep going. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely seat of the pants. And I think... Uh, Everyone seems to be thriving on that. They're sort of feeding on yeah, that. Yeah, we're all slightly out of our comfort zone, I guess, from a kind of our normal comfort zones, but we're doing well. We're doing well. Excellent. I also wanted to ask you about the Sam Fender gig you worked on earlier this year, yes. which was the first gig of its kind. It was, yeah. Post the, uh, well, it was post the first lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was the, the first, first kind of proper production if you want to kind of for want of a better term mm -hmm. um in the world pretty much and yeah for for those two shows we were the only crew in the world working which is yeah quite quite special and you know quite quite bizarre all at the same time but so i wondered if in that situation with the sam fender gig if there was more of a camaraderie between the crew because of the situation and the, the, the there unusual was, there was. It's, yeah. It was unusual and just, just a, a great thing to be part of for, for the touring crew involved and for the, the guys local on the ground who actually got themselves, you know, six, eight weeks work in 2020, which, yeah, they're, they're a, among few few people to, to work quite as much as they did, so good. So how are you feeling moving forward with the nub sessions we've sort of scheduled to do four of a sort of pilot yeah pilot series. experimental phase yeah yeah and it yeah it's become it's it's already evolving um from from day one um yeah and i see it i see i really actually see it going somewhere quite cool you know hopefully we can get the support of the community and the you know musical lovers and deliver something that actually is enjoyable well i think it's you've already proved that that's that's a done deal so don't worry I about that. So. I hope so. I think we're off to a good start. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Simpson of NUB. Thank you very much. <laughs> Winter Mountain. Hello, Joe. Hello, Mountain. How you buddy? You all right, mate? How's it going? Lovely. So. Lovely. Great job, man. Yeah, nice one. Thank it's you. It's great. Yeah, you having a good time? Yeah, you having a good time yourself, sir? I'm loving it. It's beautiful. It's such a unique thing to be involved in. Excellent. And uh, it's a real celebration of... Cornish creative talents, I think. Yeah, and uh, hopefully the world will appear on here as well. You bet. You know it? All Can't right. wait to see where it goes. Yeah, for real. So, um, what have you been up to then? How's, uh, what have you been doing for music and how's it been structuring for that? Well, I, I haven't been able to gig too much for That's obvious reasons. Yeah. So, uh, I've just, you know, fortunately I've been quite content writing 
composing music for uh, new projects. And, um, you know, I, g I get a lot out of writing songs. I think if, if you're lucky if you're a songwriter because you can keep yourself busy, um, you know, focused in your own space. So you're quite experienced in the uh, isolationist business then. Well, I guess so. <laughs> right? I've kind of been doing are, it right? for, <laughs> <clears throat> for 25 years or something. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of us aren't as old as the others oh, involved well, in this down, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, um you know, I love it and it songwriting's always given my life great meaning, not to sound too lofty or, or anything. No, but, not at all. You know, it's something I, I do f for the sheer love and the sheer compulsion. Yeah, I love have your stuff, to do man. it. It's, Thank like, you. It's great. I love it. Thank you, you know, so much. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> It was a pleasure playing. We've been getting like um, some comments. Oh, you've so, had some comments. Too. So, you know, again, if you are on the commenting page of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, so forth and so forth, we'd love to read your comments. I've got a couple of here already. No one will just read a couple off. So, good work, guys. Love this. Joe Francis, the Springsteen of the Southwest. <laughs> wow. Hey, Joe, greetings from Russia. Great to see you again. Blimey, you get about, mate. Amazing. Well, yeah, I haven't been to Russia, but I'll gladly go. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's brilliant. This. Yeah, yeah, so you've got other new material coming up? Yeah, I've got a lot of new material on, on the go, actually. Do you want to hear a new song? Oh, I'd love to hear a new one if you've got okay. one. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got a load of new ones. I've got a, a ballad I'd love to play for you, a new, a new love song. Oh, great. I'd love to hear it. Well, yeah, yeah, would that be okay? Yeah, get on, mate. All right. Thanks, Matt. Just for you, mate. Crack Another on. love song. Lovely. Nice fun. Winter Mountain. <laughs> Forces so wild cross over this land. I shan't fail to stay, shall not fail to stand. Keep me in your heart When the world drips with fire I will keep you in mind When time and her blade marks on your skin She takes with no shame Sweet memories within Girl, I 
Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that was amazing. That was Wanna spot say on. Big thanks to Winter Mountain for playing that very exclusive song. Never been played before. We're honoured that it's been played on our show, first of all. Absolutely brilliant. What an amazing show it's been. I mean, it's I can't believe it's just flown by. We, we were sort of really, before we started, panicking. <laughs> And, uh, and it's just flown by, so uh, it's good, a good start. Yeah, I think it's a great start. A couple of hiccups. Yeah, now and again, like trying to remember people's names, things it's like right. that. It's all right, it happens as we get older, you know, so... Yeah, yeah. You know, just, right. yeah. <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> Easy. I'm, I'm 35, I know you're what are you talking about? You're probably young'un. Yeah, proper young'un. Um, so how was it, I have to say, to play in the bubble band? What I, was that experience like? I tell you what, to play with uh, Steve Jackson and Joe Partridge, what an amazing category of breed legends in themselves what an amazing place to be playing with these guys is just superb loved what, it what blew me away about that was the fact that um even though you were down there in the studio and joe was up here it sounded like you were in the same room it was so tight i, I know think. considering we're like 85 meters or so away up the road yeah, from here 85 meters, 85 yeah. meters. Is, that, is that what they're saying that was kind of like by the amount of cabling that had to be kind of dragged back and forth so yeah, yeah. It That's, was like, yeah, a bit of a fair way. That is amazing. Just the whole uh, technology aspect of this show is remarkable. And I think I touched on it early on. There's so much going on that, that uh, will be revealed, I'm sure, as, as the series goes on, because it really is incredibly in depth. And the crew behind it have worked miracles to yeah. make this happen. Yay to the crew. Yeah, big yay to the crew. Um, who have you got coming up next week? Next week, we've got the amazing Rue. Oh, I like Rue. I'm looking forward to that. Excellent. Oh, that'll be great. Looking yep. forward to that one. And um, what else do I need to ask you about as I look at my cheat sheet? Well, oh, basically... We've got to remind people to subscribe. Subscribe. Facebook, uh, YouTube Live, yeah, Twitter. In Instagram, Instagram, the whole Instagram, lot. Instagram, the whole lot. Get on it. We were hoping to sort of be deluged by uh, comments, but I guess a lot of you are quite shy. There was, there's lots of nice things being said. Said, but no questions. No questions. So yeah, we need the questions. Yeah, we need questions. Maybe next week you'll come out and uh, we'll have a little chat. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Excellent. Okay, well... I think we just got to wrap this up now. Um, we're going to have one more song from Winter Mountain, but just wanted to say thank you so much thank for you watching. Much. Yeah, and for all the support. We've had a lot of messages throughout the week from people that are dying to see what was going to happen tonight, uh, as we were. I think we only uh, realized yesterday that it, this was really, it was happening. It was, it was happening. It was going to, the it point was of no return. return. That was it. We were committed. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It's been great, man. You've been great. Yeah, and yourself. Thank you. Yeah, well, perfect. Yeah, nice one. I try yeah, my best. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah.
Thanks again to Winter Mountain. Thank you, Winter Mountain. Nice one, Joe. They're going to finish off with another band song in the uh, specially uh, constructed bubble band environment. Bubble band in situation. You'll get to see that again. They're going to rock out for us to the end. And it's a song called The Things That I've Done Wrong. Thanks for watching, Thank guys. Thank you. See you next see week. See you next week. Bye. I could write a book about the things that I've done wrong.